Something that I've come to love in the last few years is the fact that every now and then we circle back to games like Software Inc, Transport Fever 2, and Airport CEO. And it is that time once again when we are going to circle back to Airport CEO. So allow me to very, very happily welcome you back to Airport CEO. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're having a good one. If you're new around here, this game does exactly what it says on the tin. If you've been here for a little while, then you might know what to expect. But there's a chance you might not because there has been an expansion, a new DLC for Airport CEO that adds helicopters. I haven't played with it. I have no idea how it works. And so we're going to jump into this series the way I do with basically every series of Airport CEO. Today's episode is going to be all about establishing a new airport. We're going to follow through with the tutorial so that anyone that hasn't played this game or hasn't seen it before has an idea of what's going on. And then in the next episode and beyond, we are going to do our best to make an airport that services all sorts of planes, both modern and vintage, both big and small, and apparently helicopters as well. So this is going to be me. This is the airport CEO. I don't have a mustache anywhere near as good as this, and my hair is considerably longer than this, but the color is roughly right. My eyes are a little bit darker than that, and my eyebrows are definitely about that thick these days. So we'll go with this for the CEO. And then as is tradition at this point, I'm thinking we are going to go for an air airport right here in Belfast. This is roughly where Belfast City Airport is. This is roughly where Belfast International Airport is, I think. But we're going to go with Belfast City Airport, which is relatively close to where I live. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is, obviously, but that's going to give us some temperate climate, essentially. A little bit of rain here and there. Apparently, precipitation in Northern Ireland is rare. I can tell you firsthand that's not exactly true. Humidity, though, very humid. That is true. So moving on, it should be no surprise that the airport name, therefore, is going to be Belfast City Airport. The code is BHG, which is what it actually is. We could have the logo be something else. I do kind of like this one. It's plain. It's simple. It, It's plain. There's a, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, anyway. We're going to play on a large map as well, and I'm going to go with moderate difficulty, which means we're going to be starting with $2 million in cash. Emergency events are going to be rare. Easy, just for context, is $3 million and very rare. Difficult is a million, and common and extreme is $500,000, and very common emergency events. I think we'll stick with moderate. So, welcome to our airport grounds. We are going to start the introduction. And we're going to get to it. This at the bottom of the screen is the build panel. This is where all airport related structures and items can be found. Some objects are not yet available. They will need to be researched and unlocked from the research and development panel. This is the management panel. We can get in here by pressing tab. It is the most important panel covering all aspects of being a CEO. The first tab is the dashboard, which is a general overview of the current status of your airports. From the economy tab, we can view the budget, we can accept contracts, we can order new products and take out loans. The operations tab will allow me to toggle airport services as well as open the airport and allow general aviation to use the airport. And from the construction panel, we can deploy cr uh, contractors to help build the airport itself. To the right is the airport rating panel. It's an indication on how well your airport's doing. We can hover over the icons to learn what each one means. That's this little thing down here. Basically, we can see the general aviation satisfaction, the airline satisfaction, how my passengers are doing, our security rating, and then in total, that gives us a rating for the average airport satisfaction. So all of this stuff will come into play as we go through the game and figure things out. And I've just noticed that we have we have water. I don't know if I've ever played on... Have I ever played on a map that has water on it before? That might complicate things. I, I don't know how to deal with that, so we'll have to figure that one out together. That'll be very, very interesting to uh, to deal with. Let's see. It looks like we've received a new email from the mayor. We can click the email button to read it. Reminder, press tab to open the management panel again and make sure you familiarize yourself with the various panels. That is completely fine. So we've got a... <laughs> I forgot it was Mayor Gregor Funsworth. Welcome to your airport. This is, again, just sort of a 
an introduction to sing so it's tab for the management panel it is h to access the tutorial let's just move on we don't really have to anything too important in there by pressing f or the leftmost icon in the bottom of the screen we can open the flight planner once we sign the first airline contract and build an airport suitable for commercial flights this is where we will schedule them and we can also unlock an automatic planner which will do that for me so we don't need to worry too much about that at some point but right now eventually i'm going to be doing that all myself and well done apparently good nice i'm glad that getting through the tutorial gets me a well done there is so much more to do and learn by yourself from this point on if you press h or the question mark in the bottom left panel you will open the tutorial panel again if you ever need help you can view the current tutorial step and the checklist press next to begin constructing your first airport if only it was my first airport and i wasn't going through this tutorial for like the 10th time ah uh, it's worth it it's i i love going through this tutorial i just it's, this is one of the games that i don't like to assume that everybody knows how it works so i think it's good to go through this so airports are complex mega structures so it's best to start with a small airfield when learning the basics we want to remember that you can view the checklist at any time by pressing the checklist button next to the close button if you want to make sure you have uh, completed the current steps if needed you can find a detailed tutorial panel in the management thing blah 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 that's fine we need to have an uh, <laughs> we needed an op uh, operational delivery site which is i believe this guy so this is where i want to say we're going to have goods delivered and then this is i think where my contractors and my workers are going to be coming in speaking of contractors we need to go to the economy tab we need to go to contracts which is i would assume offered contracts and we want to sign up with one of these two uh contractor companies so we have highway they are offering 68 contractors for 750 an hour we have brickley offering 130 contractors for six dollars an hour i think we'll go with brickley that seems like the better choice we also want to deploy the contractors so into the operations panel we want to go and basically say that they are going to be here all the time so we'll do max we will deploy and if we have a look if the game starts running we should see and we do see a bunch of buses coming in and we should have 130 contractors making their way off of these buses to just stand there and wait for me to do something which is completely fine so now we have to get our hands dirty let's get started with airport construction in order to receive the first general aviation ga flights the image below is an example of an airport design that is suitable for ga operation now that's going to be slightly tricky because i don't know how big the runways are going to be and for the life of me i don't know what we're going to do about this water so we'll go to aircraft infrastructure we'll get ourselves a small runway we can build a grass runway for a hundred thousand dollars it is 300 to operate it or hundred and fifty thousand dollars for an asphalt runway and it's 200 to operate it so i might just go in for this one so i don't have to upgrade it later and it also looks like i can just go straight over the top of the of the water which i'm sort of okay with doing this also looks like it might be central so that i think is where we're going to build the runway and that should give us plenty of space below it to play around with uh, with terminals and things like that but i might go a little bit further up just to be safe we'll go to about here and that'll be perfectly fine for the runway so now that we've placed it we want two runway ramps on each side that's going to be these guys right here actually no that's the runway itself runway ramps are these guys so we're going to want one just up here and that's going to be a way to get onto the runway and then down here is a way to get off of the runway and that'll be perfectly fine as well then we want to connect those with taxiways which is what it's telling us to do now so taxiways are gonna be that's the taxiway path that's the aircraft stand for the life of me it is this so it is gonna be 300 per square of taxiway it needs to be five across so we'll do a little oh i don't know how big i want this to be I think I'm gonna do a little five by ten thing here. I'm gonna do a little five by ten thing here, and I'm gonna do whatever this is, sixty-five by five across. That's gonna give me some space in here to build things like uh, vehicle maintenance buildings, garages, whatever else we might need. And then this space can be reserved basically for aircraft stands. 
Although in saying that, we are wanting to build aircraft stands now. I wonder, do since we're doing general aviation, these guys don't need a terminal to operate. So I almost wonder if it would make sense to just build the aircraft stands in here. And I'm very tempted to do that. Now we only need five of them right now. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm leaving this little gap here so I can bring a road down which is what we're going to want to do. And we'll let the game run so these guys head out and start building things as soon as this guy arrives, which is going to be bringing in a lot of the resources to build all of this. And I guess while we are waiting, I would like to go into, I want to say infrastructure and transportation. I want some service roads and I'm just going to do this to start with. And I'm going to do the same thing down here as well because my thinking is that we might be able to line this entire space with small stands and just have a bunch of general aviation coming through. And if we can do that, it leaves this space either for uh, more stands, which is definitely an option, although it might be tricky to get a terminal in here, or we do have the option if we go and have a look into research and development, I don't think it's in here right now, but eventually we can get remote terminals, which basically means that when you go through airport security and you go to board the plane, you go out into a bus, the bus takes you to the plane, and then you get on the plane from there. So in theory, I could set these guys up to be remote stands. I would just need to build a little something, something back there to let people actually get there, which I think, do we have the option to do that right now? I don't think we do. I might be... I might be missing it. I might be missing something obvious. Uh, I'm sure, honestly, I probably am missing something obvious. It has been a minute since I... It's been a minute since I played this. It really has. But we'll figure it out. It'll be it'll be completely fine. I also don't remember... I don't remember these bus shelters being a thing. I might... Again, I might be misremembering, but for the life of me, I don't remember those being a thing at all. But it's completely fine. Regardless, we are doing a pretty good job of building all of this. The taxiways are coming together. The service roads, which I'm really hoping I did build service roads. I think I did, right? Those are... Are those service roads? Did I did I accidentally build public roads? I... I might have accidentally built public roads. I don't... I don't actually know. Those... Yeah, those are connected, right? Those are probably, sir, it's probably fine. Now, something I did forget to do is actually connect the taxiway around like this. So we want to have the taxiway path go in something like that, which connects everything together. And now we want to place a small air traffic control tower and wait for all structures to be built. So that's going to be this guy. And my hope is that I could get it nice and central. So I'm going to try. I, th I think I could put it here. I'm pretty sure I could put it here, but I'm going to put it... I know this is dangerous. I know it's silly to have it right next to the runway. But the reason I'm doing this is because right now we have five of these stands. I think we can get a sixth one right here. I think we can have a gap of two to put another road in here and then another six stands over here. I'm not 100% sure if that spacing works out, but I think that's what we could do. And I think that would be really good for vehicle accessibility when it comes to refueling the planes and when it comes to cleaning them and when it comes to servicing them in general. I think just more access to the stands is going to be a good thing. Now it's time to accept your first flight. At this time, we can only accept general aviation flights, a small type of aircraft operated by private pilots, as we haven't yet acquired a commercial license. First off, we need to ensure that the runway the aircraft stands and the airport is open. When this is done, have five GA flights land to complete this step. So we want to open the management menu again. We want to go to our operations tab and we want to open the airport, which we have done. We also want to allow general aviation to come in here, which is what we're looking for. And let's see, open the runway by left clicking on it and opening its menu. So the runway is closed. You know what I forgot to do? I totally forgot to connect these guys to the uh, to the taxiway as well. Let's get all of you set up properly. There we go. The object is not functional. That's fine. We'll open the runway and that made them functional. So now we should and we do have our first plane coming through. Where are you coming from? So you're coming from Aberdeen to Belfast City Airport. That's fantastic. You're coming in at 430. You're leaving at 2123, so 923. That's great. That's that's what I want to see. We also have a cow over here. We have a 
yeah we have a cow that's gonna be actually a problem that is a thing that the game does is if there's livestock in the runway the planes will will wait where are you coming in from you're coming over from durham all right that's fine you're going to stand number three apparently which is fair enough to to each their own i guess uh we still have 1.5 million dollars by the way which is great news so that'll keep us in a pretty good spot Ooh, that's a very fancy looking plane where are you coming in from you're coming up from cambridge okay you're coming in at six o'clock you're leaving just after well actually just before one in the morning which again is is fair enough i'm not judging that's to each their own i suppose we can also close the tutorial thing there we don't really need to worry about that too much right now and as the sun's going down plane five has just landed plane four came over or it's going well i don't know where it came from but it's going to southampton plane five came from campbelltown and is uh is now here in belfast it is going to be going to blackpool where are you all going to so you're heading down to I'm going to say it's either Anglesey or Angel City. I've got no idea. It's 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 in Wales. That's fine. You're heading down to Sh I'm going to assume it's Shoreham. I'm, I'm going to say it's Shoreham. Most most towns that have like the ham, it's a very soft ham. It's not Shoreham. You know, it's it's like Birmingham. It's not Birmingham. Well, I mean, some people do say Birmingham, but it's it's, it's Birmingham. And anyway, uh, you're going to Humberside. That's fine that should be all of this sorted yeah we've got five of them done if land animals enter the runway or taxiway that can cause damage to aircraft and slow taxiing down build fences around your airport to keep animals out yeah so it's almost like it's <laughs> it's almost like i knew that was gonna be a problem uh i guess we can do that we can get ourselves some fences i don't want to go too crazy with this because i am eventually gonna have to tear these fences down but what we'll do is spend quite a bit of money doing this i think i did go like two sort of big yeah so something like this will come down to this corner we will come down to this corner and then i'm gonna go straight across like this now the problem with doing that is that my workers do need to be able to get in here so i'm going to take out this bit and i'm gonna take out this bit and i'm gonna say that i want some gates oh they are a little bit bigger than i thought they were that's fine we'll get a couple of gates down there i think i'll also do some gates just down in the corners as well so they can get in that way if they need to and that is going to make things tricky oh hello congratulations on your first functional airport nice yeah this looks functional what is that oh that's the builders i got <laughs> i just saw what looked like an army of ants heading across the the runway and i thought it was like a herd of deer or something there's no herds of deer in this game but for some reason that was my <laughs> that was my first thought I was like oh my god the animal thing got worse oh man it's okay we're fine uh congratulations on your first functional airport the ga pilots are enjoying your airport but some are concerned about the lack of aircraft refueling services let's get started with constructing all the required structures for a basic refueling service okay so we are going to need a vehicle checkpoint to connect to public and service roads so what i think i'll do is oh boy this is going to be this is going to be tricky because i don't I, I i didn't really give myself enough space i probably should have put the runway right up at the top but that's okay it's fine i'll make it work uh we're gonna need a what is it the vehicle checkpoints so the vehicle checkpoint is in here right it is this guy so basically we are gonna want a vehicle checkpoint somewhere like here to uh to let these guys into and out of the secure part of the airport i don't necessarily i don't necessarily know where i i want to put it though i don't know what kind of layout we're gonna go for here with uh with everything although i'm sort of thinking that maybe instead of doing a sixth uh stand in here this might be the space where we do things like vehicle refueling so i think for the time being what i'm gonna do is just put the vehicle checkpoint i want to say here and i want to say that's hopefully going to be in line with everything so the public road is going to go like this for now and then the service road is going to go straight through here which means i'm going to have to get rid of that fence which is a little bit annoying because that means that you know animals are going to get through there but that'll be okay that's that's probably that's probably okay i mean it's not okay but it's gonna have to be okay because we need the trucks to get in here so we'll do this i could do tunnels tunnels are i think an option that's a world entrance tunnel they're an option somewhere i think i might have to unlock them or 
whatever it might be. But yeah, I could do tunnels under the fence. I'm not going to because it's a little bit unnecessary and it's a little bit extra right now. But it is an option at some point if I if I'm really concerned about animals getting on the uh, getting on the runway. Although in saying that, I'm actually pretty sure it, it looks like there's fences in this building. So I think what I can do is this and I can also do this and that'll connect really nicely and basically just keep the animals out. So I think that's 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 how we do it. I think that's just how we keep the animals out of the uh, out of the airport. We also have these gates down here. They're doing great work for us. And that seems to be that entire thing built. That was really quick. Having 130 contractors is a really, really nice thing. I'm not going to complain about that at all. What do we got to do next, though? We need a vehicle depot or service vehicle parking lot. So I need to not like <laughs> I was trying to scratch my nose there subtly while talking. And I, I don't know if it picked up all that much or if I'm just really self-aware. But I swear I just scratched my nose a little bit and I just heard my voice go like really nasal for just a brief second there. Anyway, we need... <laughs> could have not drawn attention to that and none, no one would have been any the wiser but regardless uh this guy is about the same size as an aircraft stand so i think right there is kind of the perfect spot for what is this thing called a vehicle depot so we'll build it right about there we can we could build another one but we are going to need yeah we need a fuel depot so i'm not going to bother building another one of those where do we get the fuel depot? I'm assuming aircraft infrastructure. Yeah, it's going to be this guy. So a small avgas depot. I'm kind of thinking here as well. It's not going to have a great layout, unfortunately. I don't I don't love how this, this layout is going to be, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to put it right about there. We're going to go and get ourselves the service roads again. And we'll do this so it's all connected. And I'm I'm quite convinced I can punch through here. So I'm going to do that as well. Just to get that out of the way a little bit sooner than later. And there is also somewhere an option for this right here. I want some asphalt tiles underneath these depots. Just because it looks a little bit better. It, I don't think this thing should have grass underneath it. So we're just going to do that and that'll be okay. So we're almost ready to offer Avgas refueling services. All we need to do now is purchase a fuel truck and sign a contract with an aviation fuel supplier. So we want to purchase a fuel truck in the vehicles tab, which is going to be over here. We want to purchase some vehicles and we have the Fjord fuel truck, which is for Avgas. And it is $1,500 plus 50 per hour. I'm going to get two of these just because it means that if we expand into a lot of general aviation, we can deal with more planes at once. It means I don't need to buy them later. So I'm going to just get two of them. We have the garage for it. We'll be fine. It'll be okay. We can we can afford it, I think. I'm pretty sure we can afford it. I really hope we can afford it. I'm going to be annoyed if we can. We're also still sitting quite comfortably at $1.4 million. So I think we'll be all right. So now we need to sign a contract with an aviation fuel supplier. So that is going to be the economy tab over to offered contracts and we have some choices again we can filter by the way so we could look at aviation fuel suppliers we have zip fuel who will offer me avgas at 165 per liter and then they'll offer jet a1 fuel for 40 per liter they'll deliver 200,000 liters per delivery which is great these guys are 159 and 43 cents 200,000 per are they so zip fuel is 165 these guys are cheaper these guys i think are cheaper again you know what we'll go with we'll go with avi fuel that seems like the or av fuel whatever it's avi fuel it doesn't matter we'll go with that so now i have to wait for the fuel supplier to refill the depot they should be coming in somewhere i'm pretty sure we should see this big yellow truck coming through here at some point hopefully and there it is. It's coming on in. It's interacting with the goods depot. It is a fluid supply truck with trailer. That's apparently a Maverick truck as well. I've never noticed all the details on these things, but there we go. It is loading up the depot. We've got my trucks coming through and doing their thing now, which is great. I'm also pretty sure I can customize the color. Yeah. Do I want to customize the color of my trucks? What is the... So Avgas is like red. Do I want to make the trucks red? I could. 
I can just make them bright, maybe not bright red, but like that color, sort of a slightly faded red, so it's not ridiculous. And we'll just save that as a custom color and make both of them bright red. I think I think that's the angle that we go for. So there we go. We have a couple of red. They look like fire trucks, don't they? Especially with the uh, the BHD logo on top. If you zoom out, it kind of looks like a little single blue beacon light or something. But that's fine. I <laughs> I'm okay with that. Wait, have they not refilled my depot? Oh. Okay. I guess my truck's probably just. Oh wait, no, I don't want to close it. Uh, I guess my truck's probably completely drained the thing, right? So does that mean I have to wait for another truck to come in here? I guess it does. Yep, and there it is again. We have another truck coming through. I love, I love that you do see the little thing go up there. I, I, this game, I just, I always, I love this art style. I'm not gonna lie. This and Rimworld and Prison Architect. I mean, this one's a little bit more sort of like two and a half dimensional, I think, than those ones in places. I might be just imagining things. Regardless, it doesn't matter. It's, it's completely fine. We need to enable the Avgas refueling service. So let's go into operations and let's enable this guy right here. And that is going to keep my general aviation flights even happier because they're going to be coming through. They're going to want refueled. We should have the trucks heading out to do that, which we do. The little fire truck looking things heading out. Going to refuel this guy, I'm pretty sure. And we should and we do, I think, get a little bit of money from that, which is great. Where are you coming in from? You are coming down from some, um, some, Sumber. <clears throat> it's either Sumberg or Sumbera. And I'm, because it's Edinburgh, I'm going to assume Sumbera is where that's coming down from. Right? I'm, I'm, I might be wrong on that one. There's this. Look, if there's one thing that this series is going to be a test of, if I keep checking where these planes are coming from, it's going to be a real test of my accent, to be quite honest with you. Okay. Uh, what is Ben? Uh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it really, it's, it's going to test me. It's really going to test me. Oh, man. You know what? Let me. We still have 1.4 million. I'm going to take a chance is what I'm going to do. This might be reckless. This might be silly. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to spend some money. I'm going to get some more, uh, some more stands, which I mean, can I, I can get one there. I can get one there. Is this not, oh no, that would fit, right? Wait, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. I've got one, two, three, four. This thing might not be central. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I think I, no, it isn't. It's not central at all. <laughs> That's going to be painful. You know what? That's okay. That's that's fine. We'll do four stands down here. I'm going to lean into the asymmetry a little bit is what I'm going to do. We'll do four stands. We'll get some service roads right here. And this can be used for other refueling services, other airport infrastructure things. It's fine. At the very least, this will be more stands for more general aviation flights. Therefore, a little bit more money. Okay, and that's that's what we're here for. We're not here to provide a good service to everybody. We're not here to make a good airport. We're here to make money. That's that's why the mayor put me in charge of this airport, I'm sure. At least I like to imagine. Where are you coming down from? You're going to You're coming from Barra. Okay. Well, that's that's fair enough. You're heading to to, 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 to either Tyree or Terry. You know what? I'm going to stop looking. At this point, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop before I hurt myself or someone else, because that's that's what I think is going on here. To be to be completely honest with you, but you know what? I will say, it is nice to see all of these guys starting to fill up. We're still technically making a little bit of money, even if I have spent what three, six, nine, twelve, so one hundred and twenty thousand on these these four stands. That's honestly not so bad. I think I think we can get away with that. So apparently now I know the basics of airport operations. I can continue expanding my airport for general aviation aircraft, earning money from servicing these aircraft. Alternatively, I can expand my airport to handle commercial flights, which carry passengers. When I'm ready, click next to proceed. 
So we want to drag out a terminal foundation at least 20 by 15 in size. Oh boy. Well, you know what I think that means? Now that we've got sort of phase one of the airport done, I think that's going to do us for today. If you've been following the channel recently, you will know that I have been on a quest to make videos a little bit shorter, and I've seen the comments that have said don't do that. But... I think for part one of a, new, of a new series, I think it's reasonable that we get that basic introduction out of the way. We can focus on turning this into an actual commercial airport in the next episode, which does mean that we can go into research and development. We can start projects and we can basically get ourselves some helicopters, which for some reason doesn't have a... Its title isn't set up properly in here. I don't know if that's an error in my game or what that is, but apparently that's... I might need to look into that. Regardless, small helipads into medium helipads into eventually large helipads. I'm kind of here for it. I'm not going to lie. So that's the goal. That's what we're going to do. We got ourselves a little general aviation airport. Next time, we are going to get ourselves a commercial airport. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.